She said, get out the chat room and clean my bed. Glad Girl Group coming at you with a throwback jam. That was Glad Force Flex Drawstring Trash Bags featuring Pine Sol Original Scent. And that's better than all good. It's all glad. Earning your degree online doesn't mean you have to go about it alone. At Capella University, we're here to support you when you're ready. From enrollment counselors who get to know you and your goals, to academic coaches who can help you form a plan to stay on track. We care about your success and are dedicated to helping you pursue your goals. Going back to school is a big step, but having support at every step of your academic journey can make a big difference. Imagine your future differently at capella.edu. Warning! This podcast is for mature audiences only. If you are under 18, please leave now. That goes for you as well, Karen. We are not professionals, so don't take our advice for shit. So just sit back and enjoy our kinky adventures. And welcome back, you kinky fuckers, to Bang Bang Pineapple Gang. That's right, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang, your swinger podcast, coming in your ears via podcast land. Yeah. I am your host. My name is Jay. I am the sexy V. Yes, the very sexy V. Uh, Thank you. Sitting there, you're almost at what did you say, ten thousand seven hundred followers on Fet Life? That would be correct. Oh, Four away. Yeah, you uh, today is a Crazy. Tuesday, and you posted a Tatey Tuesday picture. I did. Now, fuckers, on it was fire. it was definitely a hit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's funny because you know, like the hardcore photos and videos that I post, they. You know, they get love yeah. and people enjoy it. Uh, but the Titty Tuesday picks definitely uh, are really popular. Yeah. Uh, and, and I seen, I went back and looked at your OnlyFans too, because mm-hmm. you do have an OnlyFans. And I if do. you guys want to subscribe to her OnlyFans, uh, write to us at bbpineappleg at yahoo.com. Yeah, that is our email address, and we'll send you out that link for your OnlyFans. But I was looking at your OnlyFans today yeah. uh, because we were talking about what people are into, you know, yes. what they what they, they prefer, prefer to like look your... at or watch. Yes. And it's funny because on your OnlyFans, I was looking through and it's like, okay, okay, you know, everything, you know, is one, two likes, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And then you get to like your you you just photo pics and you get a shit ton of likes. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy because a lot of people don't really take the time to press like and i know it's really hard to do but um and i get it but you know it's not like i'm butthurt about it but um because if you look at the you know analysis or whatever of each photograph Mm -hmm. or each post that i make people are looking at it yeah you know yeah it's getting on their eyeballs they're just not hitting the the button right but, uh, you know, they're, they keep resubscribing, so it's not like they're yeah. not liking it. Right. I have a lot of resubscribers, which I appreciate. So thank you to everybody signing up for my page, checking it out, and staying. Yeah, uh, because uh, we had that scare. OnlyFans was like, oh, no more porn. Yeah, it and was kind of uh, like right after, um, yeah, I had a, probably like the best month that I had, which, um, you know, wasn't like outrageous yeah, like yeah. you know these people talk about on tiktok yeah. saying they're making yeah. 25 K grand a month, month. Like, <laughs> fucking, yeah. or yeah. even more than that i'm just like damn you know and you know i'm in what well, i'm at the 15 percent top 15 mm-hmm. on only fans which i feel is pretty damn good yeah, because you went into this thing not thinking that you would have like, but maybe ten. Yeah, people. and I figured I'd probably be in like the eighty <laughs> percent. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty happy, but it would be nice to get me uh, to ten percent at least. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, so help me, guys. Yeah, yeah. So help her if you guys can help her get to that ten, you know, ten percent on OnlyFans. Yeah. Uh, because that would be pretty cool, and, you know. And I've got some friends out there in the TikTok world uh, on their our swinger yes. Discord. Yep. And uh, you know, it's funny, like looking at their numbers and stuff like that. And they're they're all like 
point zero percenters or something like that. Yes. <laughs> on OnlyFans. And we're like, yeah, we're at we're going for ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, you, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, exactly. They started somewhere as well. Yeah, definitely. It's not like you know, it's it's not like I had a huge following even on Instagram, like my personal page. Well, it's also because uh, we don't really put ourselves out there as much as they do. You know, they're, Correct. They're, they're putting their faces on their TikToks. We don't put our faces on our TikToks just because we try to keep a little bit of amenity. Uh, a with, little bit. I mean, if people, bit. you know, want to see our faces, I mean, oh, yeah, it's, it's right very there. easy to do so. Yeah. But. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Just, Maybe just that's on just... TikTok a little bit, we kind of keep it. You know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know why we do it, but because <laughs> I, I think my friend knows anyway. Because <laughs> he made a comment when we were at a party recently. He go. He goes. Oh yeah. You know. I'm. You know. Watching a lot of TikToks lately. He goes, and he kind of looks over at me, and he goes, and I know what a upside down pineapple is now. And he just the way he kind of said it to me was kind of like a half smirk when he said it to me. Well, here's the thing. You fucked his wife. So <laughs> yeah, what exactly. are you talking about? Like, who cares if he knows? Because you guys were... Yeah, exactly. You know, swapping wives when you were married. And I think maybe he saw your pineapple ring. Yeah. Well, yeah. A lot of people because, have seen the pineapple ring. Right. But, you know, if he's seeing that and then kind of seeing like, oh, I know what these pineapples are for because I know you had posted the uh, pineapple skull, that skull I got. thing, yeah. the Halloween decoration that you got. Yep. And someone made a comment under there like, isn't this like a swinger thing? And they're like, no, only if it's upside down. Yeah. And that was his, you know, his, wife. his wife's friend. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's probably. Yeah. And, you know, I, I also because my, my ex made a comment uh, a few weeks ago and you heard it over the phone when we were talking about something with my son. And she's like, well, why don't bring your guys's sex stuff, you know, lifestyle choices or something. She made some kind of weird comment. See, I like think that. you're just reading into it. You think so? Yes, because she can't say anything about it. Yeah, well, yeah, but I don't know. It, because... It, she was just talking about a comment we made about taking your son to the porn store <laughs> he's because 18 he's 18 now. now and recording it because his mom took him to buy a fucking lotto ticket and recorded it. Yeah. So we were just kind of yeah, we're going to take him to the sex it. store and record it. You know. And dude, who you, yeah. we were just talking about, you think that he maybe said something to her and yeah. she was like, you know, I don't want to know what you guys do with your sex life going to the sex stores. Yeah. But but the, she kind of stumbled on her words before she said that she goes she said something you know bring our our lifestyle into it yeah I didn't hear the lifestyle but I don't know but so you know it's whether like they know or talk. not you know it is what it is uh, our this is our life this is how we're leading our life yeah there's it, nothing wrong we're with we're not it. hurting anybody no. with doing what we do no. and uh, we're out here spreading the love of being in the lifestyle out here. With our words in podcast land. And I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, when we started up this podcast a little over a couple months ago, mm -hmm. I had no idea that we would be where we're at. Yeah, it's pretty crazy that it's as popular as it is. Because as, as of we are recording right now, we are the number one swinger podcast on Apple iTunes. When you search, well, when you search swinger. yeah, not like on their not on their rankings, rate, yeah, not on their rankings, but when you search but for when you swinger, our, hit swinger, we are the, yeah, the number one hit for that's for awesome. Swinger. So. No, I wonder if that has something to do with like the number of ratings we have, or oh no, it, it definitely doesn't have anything to do with that. The because, downloads, the number of our friends at um, at uh, Swing Nation. Uh, they have like over almost 200 reviews on their podcast and we're, we're still ranked higher in that category. I don't know how the algorithms work, but we have a steady download on, mm. on iTunes that we've had. I don't know. I think uh, last time I checked uh, just this week alone, we had probably around 20,000 downloads. Apple podcast. You mean Apple? What do I keep saying? iTunes. iTunes. 
iTunes? Well, get out of your head. It, it will always be iTunes. <laughs> always be iTunes. It will always be iTunes. Because, uh, you know, it's, you know, I've, I've been an Apple guy the entire time since they came out. Then with, just say Apple. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you just said you're an Apple guy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it was really wild to see you know we come up as the number one hit for when you when you search swinger that's pretty cool um and what's really cool on top of it is that we are on a discord as well with a bunch of other creators yeah and four out of the the top six or whatever are on our discord sweet yeah uh so one of the main things when they created this discord was to help spread the Connect, positive yeah. word of of the lifestyle yep. and trying to break the stigma that's out there. Not the stigma nuts in the mouth, <laughs> but the stigma of, yeah. you know, swinging is bad and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, just so taboo so, and so bad. Yeah, so exactly. With, the, with all of our voices combined, we are really kicking ass on Apple Podcast. That's pretty badass. All right. All right, so also, if you guys want to catch us during the week, let's say you're out driving around, where can they find us? They can find us at FullSwapRadio.com, Mondays at 8 a.m. and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Central Time. Yeah, nice. Uh, Full Swap Radio is a radio station that you can uh, play through your phone or whatever. They have an app for Android. They do. Um, And what they do is that they run swinger or lifestyle podcast you know 24 7 yeah 24 well, 6 because on sundays they call vanilla sundays where yeah, they have other just regular interests stuff. yeah and um yeah it's really nice to get a variety of different podcasts to listen to and there is all kinds of topics that they talk about between you know swinging and polyamory and bdsm and there's like sexy story time so there's a little bit for everybody yeah and uh you know other podcasts that are on there like uh, front porch swingers was a big influence on us yeah uh doing what we do here uh because we listen to their stuff and you know we kind of got their vibe and uh we have uh really good friends uh that we're actually going to see uh, coming yeah, up here at the weeks. Hotel Takeover. Yep. Uh, Midwest Menage a Trois is there. Yep. Uh, there is a one of our Discord friends. Um, they are the, uh, I always call them Hump Day Quickies. I think that's what it is. Hump Day Quickies. Okay. It, I'm sorry if I'm fucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, they are in the, that top six. When you hit, you Sweet. switch up Swinger, they are in there too. That's awesome. Yeah, so. Uh, if you guys want to check out our Discord, uh, if you want, you can go into our Instagram, which is? Um, our Instagram is Bang Bang Pineapple Gang Pod. If you go to our Instagram, there is a link tree there. And on that link tree, there's a link for you to come over to our Discord and uh, sign up for our Discord. And uh, we do, we have a Join lot of Join the chats. party. Yeah, it's, it's a party. I think we're at almost 4,000 people on there now. Wow. Yeah, it's nuts. And it's people from all over the United States. It's not just a specific area, correct? Yeah, all over yeah. the world. Oh, the world. Yeah, we have uh, people from Worldwide. Asia. Worldwide. Worldwide. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there, we have uh, some, some guys pop in from Asia. We have uh, some Australians. We have a couple uh, British people. Cool. Uh, so, you know, it's open worldwide. And it's funny because... Uh, w- when we talk about how big our podcast has gotten, we are actually ranking in Apple Podcast Land in Turkey. Who would have thought? <laughs> I'm blown away by that. Yeah, I would have never have guessed that. We are in like the top 100 podcasts in Turkey. That's of nuts. All places. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> and when we started, like, shout I said, out to Turkey. Like, yeah, what's up, Turkey? <laughs> yeah, so. Um, yeah. It's it's it blows me away how big this podcast blew up. Yes, and I've said it many episodes in the past. I was like, "How are we even going to get people to listen to this?" So it's really amazing to see the reach that it's had. Yeah, because uh, it, it it blows me away that you know 
we have another venture that we do, which is yeah. a podcast. Yep. And the numbers on that over the three years that's been out or two and a half years is like a quarter of what we've done in two months here. <laughs> yeah, but this is also sexual. That right there is a completely different game. Yeah, but I promote the fuck out of the other one. <laughs> but the other one is also very... Um, niche. Niche, yeah. yeah. It's very niche. Definitely. Uh, so I, I get it, but you know, it's it's it just blows me away because here I just thought we would just lay down some track of us telling our kinky stories and stuff like that. Yeah. And if a few people hear it, they hear it. Right. But not number one ranked swinger, you know, when you look up swingers on Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Apple Podcasts. It's nuts. Yeah, definitely did not. And I know everyone's that. probably listening, they're like, Oh, listen, these fuckers go on about patting themselves on the back and shit. But I don't know, it feels uh like self gratification. Well, here's the thing too. It's like we want to talk about it, but we have no one to talk about yeah, it to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to go <laughs> tell my family. Hey guys, guess what? When you search swinger on you know the podcasts, we come up number one. <laughs> <laughs> but don't listen to it because you do yeah, not right. want to hear about you my sex not, life. Yeah, you do not want to hear about you getting railed by multiple guys at one time. Right. So or eating a hairy vagina. Exactly. So there is definitely <laughs> um yeah, it, it's weird because it's like I have to keep it a secret. It's like I'm doing something bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that's pretty silly um, because it's we're not doing anything bad. Yeah. Uh, and that's the thing. And that's what we're trying to change. And I guess I should probably live it too. But yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be open about it to family members. Yeah, because uh, what we, we coined this phrase on our other podcast. It's what... Be your, be, your slutty self. be your slutty self, right? Yep, be your <laughs> slutty self. All right, so moving on with the show, uh, we do have some stuff for you guys here tonight. We have some DM slides. We do. Um, very interesting ones. One, uh, I'm actually going to bring up part of my DM slide early before DM slides, uh, but we also will have a, a weird news story. Yeah, yeah, very weird. Where, where story. The, this lady is having threesomes with her husband and God of all people, God. He's there, <laughs> and apparently, it's amazing. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the celestial being like God. Come on, <laughs> it better be. Yeah, right? Fuck. It better be the best dick you've ever got, right? <laughs> because you know, God made a dick, so you would think that he would. Have like the best, the best one, right? I'd like to help, <laughs> and it's not like a micro penis. <laughs> it's not the micro penis, uh, but we got that new story. And since I've filled a lot of questions this week on Discord about uh, our hotel party experience, because a lot of people are are on the Discord are new people coming into the lifestyle, or they're uh, questioning whether they want to be in the lifestyle. And they want to learn a little bit more about it. Before they go to an event themselves. Yeah, makes and, sense. And we had just kind of glossed over a little bit of stuff over our hotel party. We have, yeah. Because we're going to be going to one in a couple weeks. Yes. Um, and they're like, we would want to hear more about it. So we're going to break our streak of, you know, kind of. The chronological, chronological order. order of stuff. Yeah. And we're just going to jump to our first hotel party that was back in March. Yeah. So we're going to share that tonight. And, uh, uh, you know, I it's not really a kinky story like we usually do, but you know, we, we it gets kind of randy. Well, yeah, I mean it's a swinger. No. Party. So, I hotel guess, takeover. Got, got some so. cool details on that cuz yeah. we had a blast. Absolutely. You know, uh spoiler alert, we didn't hook up with anyone. Right. But uh, you know, that's one of the things that people have asked me on Discord this week. They're like, "Are you expected to put out Basically, if you go to a hotel party. No. No. And I was kind of surprised to learn that there are more people that go to just watch than there are that don't. Like, I didn't realize that was a thing. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So, we'll, we'll dive into that a little bit more. Uh, but, uh, so, I guess what we'll do first here is that we will do our DM slides of the week. All right. And this is a... a 
favorite segment for people out there in podcast land. Uh, they're always like, man, I really love hearing the DM slides. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to kick off DM slides with uh, kind of like a, I don't know, what do you call it? Preambles? Is that what they call it in the business? Sure. Where or a follow up from do 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 do. Do you ever remember watching uh, Unsolved Mysteries? And then, like yes. a couple weeks down the line, there'd be like update. And yes. Then blah 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 blah. It would be the update. Yeah. And then, like someone got caught, or yeah, you know, with your help, you know, right. Someone got caught, caught. Yeah. Well, a few episodes ago, we had talked about this guy uh, that wrote into us and you know read our full profile and everything. <laughs> and uh you know we were vibing on this dude the way he wrote the whole profile yeah, great sense of humor it seemed like a you know fun guy but just wasn't physically attracted right and i had updated it's funny because uh he contacted us on sls this week and he said he found our podcast and at first i was like how'd you find our podcast but then i remember i changed our title on sls to bang bang pineapple gang in the house well, he looked at our profile and he th- he Googled Bang Bang Pineapple Gang because he thought it was some swinger term he didn't know about. Gotcha. <laughs> so he said that when Trying to figure out what it was. So when he said that he saw it was a podcast, he started listening to it. And he goes, I had to keep going to the DM slides to make sure that my DM was not. <laughs> Uh-oh. And at that time... He goes, I'm up to episode six. I'm like, dude, you probably need to listen to one more episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, but he was cool about it. He went back and listened to the episode where we talked about his uh, his DM slide. Yeah. And he was cool about it. He, he goes, he goes, it's kind of uh, um, uh, refreshing to him to know that, you know, he's doing something right. It's just we weren't, unfortunately, we weren't compatible with him. Right. And everybody has to understand that. You're not gonna bad an average of a hundred here. <laughs> You're not gonna get with every person or every couple that you may feel attracted to because they may not feel that same attraction back, and that's fine. And there's no reason to be upset about it. It's just no. what it is. You just move on and find that couple or that person that you're looking for that's compatible. And you, then you yeah. guys have some fucking fun. Yeah, so he was really cool about it. So he could have been like, fucker, don't be talking about me. And I was yeah, like, we don't no. use names or anything like that. No, well, but it's gotten to that point now that we're getting big enough to where people are finding us. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, so it was. Who would have thought? I've, I was dying laughing when. Yeah, you told me that yesterday. And I was like, oh, because I worried about that. I, that thought has crossed my mind before. Um for that reason. Because uh, oh, I think two guys, we've talked about two of the guys that are uh, certified by us on SLS. And I know that Bob, he knows of the podcast. I don't think he's listened to the podcast, but he knows of it. Yeah. And I don't think D knows about the podcast. Yeah. And I tried hitting him up this week for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because uh, we have you we know, a couple days where we could have some playtime this week. Yeah. And um, he said that he can't, unfortunately, because uh, he's slinging his black dick to a porn star this week. Oh. Yeah. I'm like, oh, living life. He goes, yeah. He goes, he goes I'm, I got the empty nest thing going on right now. And yeah. He said that uh, he's got this chick flying in or something like that. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a flying, huh? Flying, yeah. I mean, the dick's wow, good. Good for him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he's like, oh, what about next week? I'm like, ah, oh, it's not going to work next week, bro. Yeah. It's Shark Week. <laughs> True. Shark Week. So, yes. unfortunately, next week is yeah. Shark Week. But which is good for me because that means we get Shark Week out of the way and then boom, hotel for party. For the hotel. Next yeah. Week, so. Definitely. Because, so, yeah, that would suck to fucking have your period during a hotel party when you want to play. Right. And and also bonus, I know we we're supposed to be doing DM slides, but our friend Wednesday uh, contacted me today, mm-hmm. and she said that her and her husband are like ninety percent sure they're gonna be there that Saturday. Oh, sweet! So that's awesome. So you know, get some get some uh, yeah, fun some girl girl, girl pull, action, girl, girl stuff going on. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, All about that. So you have a little friend to to. 
play yeah, around have with. Some with fun with. Yeah, it'll be with. nice to know some another couple there at least. Yeah, because yeah, we're starting to to know some people there. It's yeah. just not you know you haven't been in their vagina like you had. Wednesday. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, but we'll go over more about the, the hotel party later. But uh, you want to jump in with your DM slide of the week? Yeah. So mine is titled Something Different. Um, this is a 26-year-old male. Hi, I love your profile. Hope you like mine too. I'd absolutely love to speak to you some more. I'm into a lot of different things. Would love to maybe take you out shopping and get you some underwear or an outfit, etc. Would find it even hotter if you used my house as your fuck pad. (laughs) (laughs) I would say my biggest kink slash fantasy would be having something with a girl where she can see anyone she likes and I stay faithful to her. Take her out for meals and shopping, etc. Drop me a message back if any of that sounds good. Um, <laughs> and this guy is from England, right? So it's funny because I go to his page and he says he is from London. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, is that London or is that? Yeah, okay. United Kingdom. Okay. Yeah. So now people will put whatever city that doesn't necessarily mean he is from there. So he could be local, but it's funny because he's. Like, oh, I hope you like my page. And I go to his page, and the only thing on his profile is that he's hetero flexible and he's a switch and he's back on after um, after some time off. <laughs> and then he, he, has, got, he was rolling so much pussy. Apparently, he had to take some time off. Um, and then the photo that he has, the one photo that he has, is a mere shot of him bent over. Of his ass and his dick and balls hanging. Oh, nice. Very attractive. Oh, yeah. That's what you want to see, right? When you're a female being like, oh, dude, let me see your asshole. No, definitely not. (laughs) So, no, I do not like your page, my friend. And I guess he does have a video on here. Uh Uh-oh. Let's see what this is It's probably him doing himself in the butt, probably. It's got to be. Oh, no, it's him... Jerking, jerking off. off his cock over his boxers so you can't even see his cock. Oh. Oh, and he says he's coming in his boxers. That's fucking weird. Okay. So this dude is weirdo. Yeah. Weird. That's odd. That's, so yeah. You guys can't see that via podcast, but this dude's jerking He's just jerking off through his boxers and he just came and then you can see the cum oozing through the <laughs> oozing. <laughs> the fabric. <laughs> so I guess if that's what you're into, but I have never Quentin come across Tarantino a guy <laughs> that was into that, that I knew of at least. Like jerking through his underwear? Yeah. No. No. I mean, you me. at least need a bare hand on it, right? Yeah. You need something on it more than that. That like, it'd be like the scratchy fabric. Scratchy fabric. Now, let's say if it was like, like silk boxers or something. That might be a little like different. I've done that where I've had a hard on and I've had silk, silk boxers on. And it's like, ooh, that kind of feels kind of nice. I could get or, that. Like, just nylon, a different sensation. Like a nylon. But I've just been jerked regular, off with a nylon before. But. Yeah, just your regular boxers, though. That doesn't seem like it would be no. No, that's titillating. Just, that dude's weird. So, okay. So, going back to his DM slide, he's yes. wanting to basically um, be like a sugar daddy. No, not necessarily, but I think... Because he said that he wants to spoil you and buy you things and... Well, it didn't say he wanted to spoil me, but he just said he'd love to take me out shopping and get you like underwear or an outfit. I would not call that a sugar daddy, um, just doing that. Um, You know, my biggest kink fantasy would be to have something with a girl where she can see anyone she likes and I stay faithful to her. Now, I don't know if... He kind of has like a cuck thing, mm. like the humiliation thing. Yeah. Um, I haven't but looked it at sounds his like, kinks. Sounds like he's looking for a girlfriend, and he has to obvious, bit. obviously know that you're taken. Clearly, he didn't read my profile. Yeah, which like ninety five percent of the guys don't. Right. So yeah. So yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. Okay, he's into um, verbal humiliation and, and degradation. 
Yep, humiliation. Because on FetLife, um, you can list your kinks and what you're your into. Fetishes, your fetishes, yeah. Your fetishes on there. Like what you're curious about. It, which is another thing that I really like about FetLife is that they have all these like little add-ons. Yes. Where as in like SLS, you don't have that kind of stuff. Yeah, SLS is <laughs> it's like DOS program. <laughs> <laughs> Super old school. They need to up their game. Yeah, Cuz uh, I, you know, on Discord this week, uh, I brought up FetLife and a lot of people were like, "Oh, FetLife's garbage blah 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 it's a yeah. n- nasty program i'm like the way they have this set up for the like the program itself the program, like the yeah like web page itself how it's like set up and stuff like it's that it's awesome i, I think it's i incredible. dig it it's kind of similar to um so before facebook and even before myspace now this was back in like 01 there was a body modification community that i was a part of and the creator of it, he was super smart into the whole, you know, coding computer shit. So he created a community and he basically created um, a Facebook before it was even Facebook. But it was only for people that were in the body modification yeah. scene. So you had it was kind of like a little elite group. So um and it was kind of set up like this where you could upload photos and, you know, go to other people's pages and. Uh, slightly different, but uh, kind of the same thing. So I dig it compared to like yeah. SLS because that is pretty ancient. Yeah. But it's cool because the fetishes that you can list as your fetishes on here, you know, they're links. So you can click on them and it will take you to a page of all of the other people who have that listed. Mm-hmm. So you could find other people who are interested in that. And uh, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, if if you have a little bit of a thicker skin, go with Fat Life because uh, it, it is. Yeah, there's a lot of a bullshit lot of you got to weed through if you're like dudes really so, legitimately yeah. looking for a a fun hookup. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I'd. Hate, yeah. I was gonna say you'd have better luck on Tinder. That's where I found <laughs> <laughs> you, but <laughs> uh, but what I like it, you know. I, I consider us more of exhibitionists than, than anything, and mm-hmm. they give you a lot more freedom to be that exhibitionist yes. and, and have people fluff your ego, I guess, because yeah. people can comment on your photos, where on SLS you can't comment on a photo. Right. Or you can't post any kind of hardcore or anything. Yeah. So. I love the attention. I, you know, won't yeah. lie. Well, so. fuck, you know. Look at you. You're fucking hot as fuck. Of course you're going to get the attention. Well, and you deserve it after being in a relationship where you were made to feel like a piece of shit to yeah. uh, live your life right now to mm-hmm. where you're fucking one of the queens of fet life. I wouldn't say that, but <laughs> in your eyes. And you're, and you're uh, on the number one swinger podcast Imagine on Apple that. iTunes. <laughs> uh, Apple iTunes. Apple Podcasts. Apple iTunes. Now you're just making shit up. No, I'm just fucking making shit up. <laughs> All right, so my neon slide is actually going to be kind of quick uh, since I took up a little bit of time with my preamble or yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever it's uh, called. But I got a DM slide this week from... Uh, this guy on SLS, he's like, oh, I really want to get with you guys. Um, you know, I'm local. You know, I'm available most of the time. Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, here's my kick. I'm like, well, you know, he looked like a pretty decent looking dude. Okay. Didn't look familiar at all. Didn't look familiar. And I'm like, sure, I'll I'll jump on kick and, yeah. you know, say hi or whatever. So when I get on kick and I search up his name. It says this user is blocked. Do you want to unblock him? <laughs> and I'm like, hmm. Uh, how funny. I'm like, this motherfucker. I'm like, so did you unblock him and start talking to him through no, there or no, back no, at no, the I, previous? I went, I went back to SLS. I'm like, dude. Okay. I'm like, for some reason, I have you blocked. But I don't on, quite remember. On, on kick, I don't really remember what you did, but you had to have done something right. for me to block you on kick. Yeah. I don't block too many people on kick. Yeah. And if you've gotten to the point where I had to block you on kick, then there's a damn good reason. Then there's a damn good reason. Yeah. And he's like, well, he goes, well, I don't really remember, you know, talking to you guys ever and this and that. And he's sure. like, sure. I'm like, mm. he does. And he, go, he goes, but I really want to, you know, give me a chance. And, you know, you know, all these guys just go into fucking full on beg mode. Right? Yeah. When they're like, 
just give me a chance and I'll change your world. Yeah, like, okay, dude, no, then, uh, you're not going to change no. my world. No, so uh, so I'm like, dude, it's going to be a no because obviously I blocked you for a reason. Yeah. And then he blocked me on SLS. <laughs> yeah, because that's his way of being like, well, fuck you then. Yeah, I'm right? just going to block you. <laughs> yeah, so, so I didn't have my DM slide to actually read back, but, you know, yeah. I... I Gave you pretty much the gist the of what gist it was. The gist of it. Wow. So this dude was trying to backdoor us. and Trying to be all slick. Trying to be slick about it. Well, if you're going to be that slick about it, get another fucking kick account. Exactly. <laughs> it's not like it cost you anything. Right. And you would kind of... I would think that you would know if you're blocked or not. I mean, I know you don't get a message saying, hey, this person blocked you, but yeah. especially if they were trying to reach out again yeah. to us and they can't or they can't see a right. profile or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Interesting. Very, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. So, so you know, these guys are thirsty as fuck for you that they're going <laughs> to try any other way to try to get back at, you know, and then obviously the dude fucked up when he gave me his kick. Yes. Because I had blocked him anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not like we're not memorable for i don't know if you look at a lot of the swingers in our in our general area Mm -hmm. we have you know with your your whole tattoo and your blonde look and you you just have that look to where i wouldn't forget you (laughs) you know yeah not your i don't blend in yeah yeah you're not yeah you you don't blend in yeah (laughs) (laughs) all right so that is our dm slides of the week uh, we're going to get into our news story here. Um, we got to bring that up here. But our news story is about a... Crazy lady? Crazy. Are, are we going to call her crazy? Okay. Yes, I'm going to call her crazy. <laughs> I call this lady... Uh, I don't think she's crazy. Batshit crazy? I think she is promoting the shit out of her OnlyFans. And I think yeah, this is maybe a she's just way. a marketing genius. This is a marketing ploy <laughs> to get people to because they they want to yeah because they want to go check it out. All right, so here it goes. Woman claims she has threesomes with God and her husband. <laughs> How would you like to be the husband and be like, oh great, I got to fucking compete with God now? But if you re continue on, <laughs> a Christian OnlyFans model says she has regular threesomes with God while claiming that it's the best sex she's ever had. <laughs> a Christian only fans model. Can we just talk about that for a <laughs> second right there? Because how does that work? <laughs> um, I, yeah, I don't know. Well, you could be Christian and be an only fans model. Right, but like really promote it, though. As being, as being like, I'm a Christian... Come look at my pussy. Uh, hey, you know. <laughs> or would it be like, hey, I'm a Christian. Come look at my cunt. <laughs> Isn't that the Christian sounds a little better? To, to be like, come on, check out my 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 gash. My gash. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. It just it's funny to me. <laughs> Nita Marie is from Colorado, U.S., and revealed that she and her partner like to invite. The Lord to join them. In bed. Her and her partner. It's funny. Is, is God on SLS? I'll make a comment after you continue to read the whole story. Can, can you just tweet God? And be like, God, I'm feeling Randy tonight. Come over <laughs> with my husband. Apparently, you can just think it. <laughs> the 45 year old also says she does it with God at least twice a week. Oh my gosh! What Fucking a God is slinging that <laughs> dick. <laughs> Although the Lord Almighty has never appeared physically, Nita says she can feel his presence while getting it on with her husband. Oh, my gosh. All right, here comes my paranormal side. Who's to say that isn't a demon pretending to be God wanting to fuck them? But that... <laughs> Why does it have to be a demon? It could just be a ghost who's well, yeah, cause, getting randy. Yeah, well, yeah, because... Uh, all right, I'm not even going to get into the whole paranormal thing. Yeah, but I no. don't think there's demons, gods... You know, okay. Yeah. Or anything. <laughs> I just think there. Yeah. You know, everybody's energy. Yes. When you die, but you said demon, so that's why yeah, I said that. Yeah. Well, bad bad energy. All right. She said, "When you invite God to be a part of sex, you change the act from something purely physical to something sacred and spiritual." I don't think God is there for to be your fuck buddy, right? Uh yeah, that's crazy. 
I've been asking him to join me and my husband since the very first time we made love. <laughs> so, oh my god! So this dude's a cuck, the fucking god. But does he know but, about it all the time, though? Because I think in the article, continue on. I think she says something about that. There is nothing more fulfilling or satisfying than when you experience God's love for you while pleasuring your partner. She's previously made the headlines because of her OnlyFans career, saying that God told her to carry on to be a stripper. Yes, God so, <laughs> told her to be a stripper. Get them, get them shoes on, girl. Go get those ones, <laughs> baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to come for Sunday uh, worship or whatever. I don't know what those church people do. Oh. Uh, speaking about how she invites God into her bed, Nita explains that while it may sound odd to non-believers, she simply says a prayer and then feels God in the space around her. May sound odd to non-believers? I think it may sound really fucking odd to believers, <laughs> too. <laughs> her husband, not named for privacy reasons, <laughs> is always aware of the divine third party's presence. Uh, isn't always aware of the divine third party's presence either. There you go. He's not always aware that God is there. So, right there. Rape. Exactly. There's no consent. There's no consent if God's there. And he doesn't know about it. Yeah. What if what if God's schwanger accidentally touches this dude's schwanger? It, yep. It's non-consent. It, and you just fucking your wife and then be like, man, <laughs> I, I feel another penis in your vagina. Are we DPing you with that, uh, with God tonight? Are we DPing? Oh, my God. <laughs> DVP tonight? Really? Does she scream, oh, my God? <laughs> I'm, I'm dead now. I, I'm done. <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Uh, see you next week. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Nita added, I say a prayer in my head or out loud. It makes no difference. My hus- so, so she can just think it and God is a mind reader. Well, yeah. Of course. God knows everything, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. Come on, get with your, <laughs> your your stuff here, lady. My husband doesn't always know when I ask God to be part of our lovemaking. He would never mind, though. This is weird. The best way to explain what it's like experiencing God while having sex is a feeling of pure love and fulfillment. Sometimes I set an intention for something I want to manifest into my life before I have sex, and by asking God to be present, it means you'll more than likely be able to manifest that dream into reality. The mom of two, who shares content with her one million Instagram followers, also claims including God in her lovemaking improves her orgasms. I tell you, God slings the good dick. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe D is actually God in disguise. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Uh, she went on to say, whenever I feel him with us, it's always the best sex. So intense and full of passion and love. Well, I'd feel really shitty if I was her husband hearing this because she's saying that the sex is only like passionate and awesome and great because of God, not him. <laughs> because without God, it's not that way. And, and uh, she closes off this interview with, I don't ask God to join me and my husband every time we have sex, but at least twice a week. <laughs> Which is crazy because she's having sex at least twice a week or more. Oh, fuck. That is the wildest story wow. I've come across. And yes, I think it's more of like a ploy because you notice how like, they kept saying only her OnlyFans. Yeah, and that's what you said. And that, I mean, we need to find a shtick for your OnlyFans. I guess so. Instead of, since she's doing God, let's get that devil dick, baby. <laughs> I've got some tools here in the house that oh, can make that happen. <laughs> yeah. I've got a ton of Ouija boards in the back. <laughs> Let's go summon the devil tonight, baby, and uh, get that devil prong dick on you. Oh, my gosh. And then we'll uh, we'll write a story up and... Say that I invite the devil into our bedroom every night. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's do it. <laughs> do it for science. You, you know, fuck, I'll take the devil in my ass if that's what it's going to take to get your own pants going. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate your support, but I don't think you'll need to do that, my love. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so a lady offering, and, and it's really weird that her husband's okay with it. 
Well, does he know this? Does well, he know fucking, that she is batshit crazy? He has to. She must be fucking good at sex for him to still. He's probably batshit crazy, too. But then again, you know, she's got one million followers on Instagram. I'm pretty sure her OnlyFans number is pretty high to where she's probably banking $100,000 uh, yeah. a month. For and sure. this dude will be like, I will fuck crazy all I, all I yeah. can. I can for quit my job. Uh, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. This my wife is over here and ride the only fan fucking wave. God on only fans. And I can. So where's God's consent form? Like, do you have to tag <gasps> God? Exactly. Because I just got in trouble for having all these posts. Like if I didn't tag you on it, because maybe you weren't in the video, except maybe like your hand. Mm-hmm. And they're like, no, nope, it's a third party. You have to tag them. Hmm. And I was thinking that it's like, you're not, you don't know whose hand that is. Hmm. So why would you need to? It's just a hand. It's weird. not a whole per. I, I don't know. My <laughs> my thinking on it is weird. Jeez. Yeah, so uh, that's our, our new story. Very weird. Yeah, it's very <laughs> odd. You know, does God need a consent form? Uh, we'll leave that question to our Discord server. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think God needs a, uh, you yeah. know. Yeah, consent form. Consent form to fuck on OnlyFans. Like everybody else, uh, we'll make, we'll or make is the he double. A, is he exempt? Well, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Celestial beings don't well, have to uh, sign a consent form. Yeah, yeah, maybe there's some <laughs> special rules, but all right. all right, guys. So that's our new story of the week. Uh, I think we're going to move into our final segment here, and we're going to talk about our very first hotel takeover experience. Yeah. Uh, because we are going to be going to one in a couple weeks in here a few weeks. for Halloween, which yeah. I'm excited for. I'm a huge Halloween fan. Yeah. I like Looking to get dressed up. To and dressing up. Look forward to seeing you and your outfits. You got a little Care Bear outfit you're going with. and Yes, I got oh. a sexy Care Bear yeah. outfit for uh, part of the night. And then I think I'm going to wear I have like a little cat suit mm-hmm. um, lingerie outfit. Yeah, definitely. And I don't think that came with a tail no i don't think it came with a tail we'll have to but i think it. i have some ears and um yeah so i mean so uh you may know, make a couple outfit changes yeah definitely stay tuned to uh only fans we'll make sure to get some pics for sure and you know even if um you know wednesday is there we'll do some girl girl content for only yeah definitely uh some hotel kinky stuff yeah mm. see, not too bad see what she dresses up as and yeah, we'll have a lot of fun. Yeah, Looking be, forward to it. It should be a kinky good time. So when we went, it was in March of this year. It was St. Patrick's Day themed. Yeah, it was St. Patrick's Day themed. And it was kind of like the world was starting to try to get away from the whole COVID lockdown thing. Things were kind of opening up a little more. Restaurants were still kind of closed. Like you couldn't go into a restaurant still. And I know a lot of places you couldn't even still do like a buffet. Yeah. And... um. Yeah, technically, you couldn't even do, like, any kind of catering. You would have to have, like, individual box meals. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so, I, and I've talked to people um, that, that go to multiple of the JR's uh, group yeah. hotel takeovers. And they're like, yeah, this, uh, the one that we went to, they're like, yeah, you know, that's not a very good one to kind of base your... Yeah, you because know, they throw. It some wasn't help. their full party. Yeah, this wasn't their full party. They didn't I guess have a DJ. They, they go all out. Yeah. When when they're you know it's not COVID time. Yeah. And they said that JR's throws one of the best hotel takeovers in the area. Cool. Looking uh, forward to it. So, I, but I'm sitting here. I'm like, fuck. We had fun. Yeah, we just had a great time with just yeah. The one night we were there, uh, we didn't know what to expect. It was our first legit event mm-hmm. that we went to together. And, yeah, we really didn't know what to expect going in there. So we went in on a Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to get there a little early. Um, They had a dinner and then, like, a little meet and greet. Yeah, they had a speed dating thing. Speed dating, that's what it was. Yeah, Yeah. uh, they had a little speed dating thing set up. And when we first got there, um, our room wasn't ready. Right. So so we kind of, like, hung out in the lobby for a couple minutes and then... uh, um, uh, J- JT and um, Carmen from 
That's not their real name, so don't look at me like I'm right. exposing them. Yeah, no, I know. That's their names that they use on their podcast. Yeah. So I feel like I can safely do that. From <laughs> the Midwest Menage a Trois. Right. Uh, they checked us in yep. um, to the for our bands and make sure that we weren't running fevers and shit like that. Right. Uh, and we're like, well, yeah, we don't have anywhere to go because our room's not ready yet. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, well, he can come up and hang up, hang out with us. So uh, we went out to their room. Yep. And they got one of those swanky, like, Double loft ones. Yeah, the two floor. Yeah, the rooms. The, yeah, the really, uh, really awesome rooms. And uh, so we were hanging out with them for a little while, talking with them and getting to know them a little bit. And, yep. Uh, they're friends, and you could definitely see that. You know, the I don't want to really call it clicky, but you could definitely kind tell there, I, there's yeah. group. You know, there's a group. You know, I mean, everyone is pretty open, and they seem like. You know, accepting, yeah, but it did seem, yeah, you know, kind of clicky, but not, yeah. Well, we're brand new coming into it, we are, and they've probably done this a hundred times over, right? So they're familiar, they have their group of friends that they're comfortable with, mm-hmm. so yeah, you know, so we're just kind of sitting there, you know, observing, observing a little bit, and you know, they're having their funly fun banter that they, they have between each other because uh, this is a Friday, Saturday thing, and we didn't go Friday night. Right. And so they were talking about their Friday night. The night night before, yeah. You know, everyone was looked like they were hungover from the night before. Yeah. uh, So so we talked to them for a little bit, and uh, our room was ready. Yep. So we went down and unpacked our room. Yep. And uh, we're like, we're in a fucking hotel room. Let's fuck. Yeah. (laughs) Right in front of the window. Right in front of the window. So I pushed your your sexy ass against the window. Yep. um, Pressed you, like, face for, for... Face forward into the window. Yeah. Uh, so if anyone was out there on the river, they would have yeah, seen it. Yeah, or the bike path, the or bike there path. was like a house across yeah. the street. So yeah, it was it was not super public, but if you were, you know, people could have definitely seen us. Yeah. I don't think anyone did, but. Yeah, and uh, while we were walking before that, we were walking up towards the room, and, you know, people had their, like, doors open and stuff like that. So yes. you could just kind of, like, look in their room. People are walking around naked or yeah. just hanging out with their dicks out and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, this is my kind of crew. Right. I'm like, I'm like, D- can I walk around with my dick <laughs> Can I get naked now? <laughs> can, can I get <laughs> so, don't uh, offend anybody. <laughs> yeah, right. So, like I said, we went to the room, and we had a little bit before the speed dating thing. So yeah. we, we fucked around a little bit. Yeah. Um, had some fun, did some filming, which is actually on your OnlyFans. It is, yep. Uh, so you guys can go check that out. It's pretty hot. Um, so we clean up a little bit, and then we head down to the, the ballroom. Yep. Because uh, this place has multiple ballrooms, and this is like the small ballroom, mm-hmm. which I think when they usually have their stuff is in the big ballroom. We'll find out. Uh, so we went down to the small ballroom, and they had it set up for it was going to be speed dating, where couples, you know, you get how much, like five minutes? or No, it was like two or three minutes. Yeah, it wasn't even, it was less than five minutes. So, yeah, I think it was like two minutes. So you have two minutes with each couple, and you can ask whatever questions you want and kind of get to know each other and see if you're kind of vibing and... Then you move on to the next couple, and you just keep going until everybody's met with everybody. Yeah, um, and it was a really good mix of people. You had your older couples, you had yeah. uh, you had your younger couples. You had you know we're kind of like in the it middle. was a mix. Yeah, was, and I was really surprised to see the types of people that are there because you were you're always curious to see like who else is who in the, the lifestyle. A, who the fuck is a swinger? Right. You know? Yeah. Because we've we've had this talk before. You know, what does a swinger look like? Yeah. And there's a lot of people there I would be like, I would never guess you were a swinger. Right. Yep. I'm like, you look like uh, a guy that sells me insurance. (laughs) (laughs) Those are the biggest freaks. Yep, exactly. (laughs) Uh, So, you know, uh, we we chatted with a few people, you know, and it was was a lot of the same question over and over again. It's like, how did you get in a lifestyle? Yeah. Um, How old you are? Where are you from? What are you looking for? That kind yeah. of thing, yeah. And it was funny because at one point, uh, things got kind of jumbled up, and so we were missing a couple of couples. Yeah. And they were, like, getting irate that they didn't get to come over and talk to us. They're like, <laughs> we didn't get to talk to them over there because... Gotta keep going. <clears throat> because uh, because we're fresh blood. We're newbies. Yeah. And, you know, I, I don't want to be that guy, 
but we're a pretty decent looking couple. <laughs> well, if you ask us, yeah, of yeah, course right? we are, but yeah, exactly. <laughs> everybody says that about themselves. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but you know, you're fucking incredibly gorgeous. Like I am, I am like a normal four, but standing next to you, I, I become a seven. Oh my just... God, a normal four. You're <laughs> fucking crazy. I do not date fours okay <laughs> because right next to you while well, i'm standing next to you i'm a seven <laughs> stop it i uh, i i dignitized you remember? you dignitized me <laughs> <laughs> it was the big dick to dignitize you uh but so uh we did the speed dating thing and people were like fuck it we didn't get to talk to them so we had to rearrange things so we had could talk to the people that we missed but yep. they were they were clamoring for you the one kid he was like a younger couple and he was all about wanting to see your tits, and because he's, he's like, he's like, because uh, he's looking at your dermal. Yeah. And he's like, does that hurt when? Uh, does that get caught on your dick when you do? Oh, uh, when you're titty fucking titty me? Fucking yeah. Me? And I'm like, well, I don't really have big tits to be titty <laughs> fucked <laughs> because I've never, you know, that's really never been something I've been into. No. And he kind of had that vibe to him where he's like, well, can I find out? <laughs> that's the kind of vibe I was getting from him. Well, he didn't ask. So. Uh, because we ran into this couple a couple of times and they were kind of, he was kind of hinting towards like hitting on you while you oh, know, we were walking through the hallways or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so we did that um, and it was, it was decent. I, I thought Yeah, it we was had just fun. a way to meet people it even was a good whether or not icebreaker yeah it was definitely a good icebreaker and whether or not it's not always about hooking up with people no so uh we went back to the hotel room fucked again of course um and then from there we got ready for dinner got ready for dinner yeah. and we got dressed up i had this shiny green shirt and dress pants and you had this beautiful like green the leopard lime print, green lime dress green yeah dress you're fucking looking mm, mm, mm. very good thank you and uh, definitely all eyes were on you when we were walking into the, the Well, ballroom. you couldn't miss me. I was fucking like fluorescent green, you know, super bright green. Yeah, and you're, you had like... The little, blonde hair. Yeah, you get the blonde too. hair yeah. and you're tall and you're, you got the tattoos all out. And you're looking fucking fooling as hell. <laughs> it's definitely I could see why people would be like, oh, fuck, hell yeah. And so... Uh, we had dinner, which was pretty good. Uh, they they had stuff catered in. They did, yeah. They technically weren't supposed to, but they did. Uh, so they had uh, the dinner. The dinner was pretty good. It was like kind of a pasta type thing. Yeah, Italian. Yep. Italian. Uh, so we sat down with a couple of couples that were you know, at our table because yep. we didn't know anyone. Right. Yeah, we didn't know anybody at all. So it's not like we could be like, oh, hey, we're going to come hang out no. with you kind of. And and there was a one couple that was brand new like us Mm -hmm. and they are kind of i think they're really hinting towards wanting to hook up with us yes uh but like sexually i i wasn't just wasn't feeling i wasn't feeling it no um but later that night he they did try to hit us up on sls seeing if we were up and available and wanted to at least come and watch us watch us yeah he he goes i don't think we saw that message though until like the the morning Yeah. yeah uh so um, so we had dinner with them and there was another couple on the other side of us and the husband, he was cracking me up the whole time. Yeah. He was and pretty I could funny. definitely tell he was trying to vibe on you. Yeah. He was feeling me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was feeling you. And I knew he wanted to get a piece of you. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. I, I wasn't feeling the wife, I guess she, she yeah. was kind of fun, but you know, no, I, they're, yeah. Um, like possibility I would have been into it, I guess. I don't well, know if what you're you... not feeling it, then don't do it. Even if you think that, you know, like, oh, well, well she said she, you know, the no. guy looks but fun what, or whatever. What were you feeling? I wasn't really feeling no. it. I mean, no. it was funny, you know, yeah. like cool, hang out, sit next to you at dinner. Yeah. But I'm not gonna. See, and and that's the one thing. You. One thing about it, you don't feel like you have to do anything. Exactly. When you, these, when you go to these things, yeah, because uh, we didn't fuck anybody. We didn't fuck anybody. Um, I, I do apologize. This episode is probably going to go a little bit a lot oh, over. Yeah, <laughs> this time uh, well, we can wrap it up. We, we don't. We have. We don't have too much after that, really, to talk about. Um, basically, you know, I well, hate, we had the Sibian. Yeah. Um, fuck. So they had the Sibian in the bondage room. Well, you're skipping over us getting. We went back to the room, mm-hmm. and then we got 
dressed up into some kinky clothes. True. Yes, we did an outfit change after the the long dress for dinner. Um, I did put on a little uh, schoolgirl outfit. It was green plaid because, you know, St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. And you were Um, looking fine as hell again. And it was really cute because you had, like, these lacy booty panties. Yes. uh, Cheeky panties. Yes. And, like, if you would just... Barely bend over in that skirt, you would just see the lace, and then your cheeks were hanging out the, on the side of the. Oh fuck! It was incredible. Yeah, it was definitely a hot little get up. I definitely was feeling pretty sexy. And that night, instead of having a big party, because usually they have like a dance floor and you know bar and stuff like that, they did what was called like a room crawl, where yeah. the the couples that were in the top floor in the big rooms put on like a party for everyone. It was like a bar crawl where they would put together different shots or drinks yeah, or something they'd have like a that little in the table hallway. Out their door. And so yeah, imagine drinks. all these fucking people just lining up this hallway and I got this statuesque blonde in this fucking <laughs> hot ass schoolgirl outfit. Once again, everybody, I could just feel like, because I like purposely walked behind you <laughs> so I could watch everyone. Yeah. Because that's one of the things that gets me off is the everybody that just oogles you. Showing me off. Yeah. And it's like, fuck, yeah, that's mine, bitches. <laughs> yeah. And because, uh, uh, like I said, that whole day you were looking fucking on point like nobody's business. Mm-hmm. Like I had no yeah. business being your boyfriend. Oh, stop it. That's how fucking <laughs> hot you are. Whatever. You're and, crazy. <laughs> So so I got this beautiful woman just parading her up and down this like row of just people getting drunk and nakedness. There's guys with their dicks hanging out next yeah. to the dip. Yeah, next to like, <laughs> the little the food and the drinks and yeah, it was a lot of fun. They um, had um they had a BDS room, a BDSM room. Yeah, they had like a little bondage room where people had their stuff so they could show people what it was all about. Yep. And then they did have the Sibian room and I was super intrigued by that because yeah. i've seen videos and it looks pretty cool yeah. and i'm like where am i ever going to get a chance to you know try one of those things because i'm not gonna buy one and who do i know that has one nobody <laughs> right. so i figured what the hell yeah so um because uh, we were at the bdsm room first and we watched uh this really hot lady yeah she we, was in the stirrups and yeah the dude was doing the electric shock thing well, he had a, a vi- he had, it was a vibrating wand that he was using on her at first because we walked in at the end of that, and then I think he was showing her the that electric wand thing. Yeah. But then next door, that's where the Sibian machine was. So we walked over there, and then um, nobody was on it at the time. And I started talking to the lady, and she's like, "Oh, well, just come try it." I'm like, "Okay, twist my arm, <laughs> yeah, right, twist my arm, <laughs> fine, stick that thing in my pussy." Right. <laughs> so I walk over there. And there are four attachments that you can choose from. And when I say attachments, they're dildos, basically, that you can put on the Sibian machine. So when you're riding it, you can insert something into your vagina as you're riding the thing. Mm -hmm. And I picked one of the smaller ones and not thinking too much about it. There was one that was completely flat, which was not an internal attachment. I believe you just put it right on top of the thing and it had like a little mound where you could kind of grind up up against. Yeah. And that's what I should have done and that's what I would do next time because I just need that clit stimulation for me to get off. And so when I got on it, it was kind of awkward how the attachment was and I couldn't really get a comfortable position. Like how you were sitting, you know, you're kind of like riding a horse, you know, like that. Um, like you're straddling yeah. something. And, and it, they were 100% clean with it. You know, you had a condom you put on the, the yes. thing. Yeah, so. everything was, yeah, had a condom on there. They put one of those, the pee pads around everything mm. in case you're like a squirter. Which you are, but I don't Yeah, think not, you know. no, I didn't squirt that time. Um, I was in too much pain. Oof. So the way that I was sitting, I just couldn't get comfortable and it just kind of hurt and I just tried to find a comfortable position and I just tried to enjoy what I was doing yeah. and it was definitely enjoyable it was you know I mean you said you yeah. enjoyed watching fucking like there was, there was like a few people there was in like there six or seven people in the room yeah and like that you could hear a pin drop 
you know, sure the machine was making that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, everyone, everyone like didn't even take a breath because they were watching you. Just because you have like those heaving tits and you're just fucking hot. You're just hot <laughs> to watch. I fucking jerk off to your porn all the fucking time. You do, yeah. Uh, just to watch you is fucking hot. And like the girl that was running the controls, she was she loved you because you were you know bent over looking for the attachments yes. before you got on it. Yeah, and she was fucking wanting a piece of your ass. <laughs> in which I'm kind of. Sucks that we didn't go back and talk to him because yeah. uh, she was cute. And, yeah. You know, she had the tattoos and everything, yeah. uh, you know. Uh, yeah. But uh, so she was vibing on your ass. And, you know, everybody in that room was like, Fuck, damn, this this chick is fucking hot. And it's not like I got naked. I was still, yeah. you know, I just took my panties off and I had on my little skirt. And it's not like I even had my tits out or anything no. like that. Um, so, yeah, I did not get off, though. And that's partially... Because I was in pain. Yeah, so the, the attachment wasn't. So, yeah, so, so I just kind of called it off um, after a little while. And, you know, it was enjoyable. I had fun. I, you know, I don't regret it or anything. Yeah. But I was in pain for yeah. a few days. Yeah. I, I think before you got on, we watched another couple. That that really hot girl was on it before you? or I after think it you? was after, after me. You. Yeah. And, it was pretty hot. Because I, I wanted yeah. to watch. Yeah. Yeah, because you want to watch. And... Um, uh, she fucking she fucking came on that fucker like the yeah business yeah and she was really she was fucking yeah, I think of all the, I, I really wish that out of all the couples there that we wish we would have actually conversated with them talked to them yeah um, I've talked to them since then on SLS mm-hmm. and they seem like really cool people. Well, hey, we'll have another chance here coming up in a few yeah. weeks. So, so yeah, if they, if, I don't think they're on the list to go. Oh, okay. So unfortunately. Well, hey, whether you know we have new people to meet, so yeah, definitely. And um, then yeah, stay tuned for stories of that. Yeah. So uh, after you did the Sibian, uh, we kind of just kind of walked around a little bit more, mm-hmm. up and down, and um, and everybody is drinking too, and yeah. I don't drink at all, so yeah. I feel kind of out of place in situations like that. Not that I did feel out of place at all, but, you know, towards the end of the night when yeah. I'm kind of getting tired and everyone's at that point where yeah. they're just, like, silly drunk, it's like, okay, you know, yeah. I'm done. Like, hey, so, uh, you know, you, I'm not vibing with you, you know, guys. I, I, I dig it. You know, you walking along and some chick sucking this dude's dick in the middle of the hallway. and then, Yeah. Uh, we started making our way out, but we stopped at one room because this chick was – Hooked up to one of those, uh, those widow, uh, widow crosses or whatever. Yeah, I forget what it's called, but yeah, she was tied up on one of those X, yeah, the X things or whatever. And, um, yeah, she was getting flogged, yeah, and, yeah flogged. And the dude, yeah, it was pretty sexy. The dude, dude had a giant cock too. He's kind of rubbing his giant cock on her and, yeah, uh, whipping her. And, you know, there's like a whole group of people just sitting on the couch just watching, yeah. And, and I'm like, fuck, these are my kind of people. You know, I, yeah. I'm a watcher. You know, I, you know, I, I enjoy watching, definitely. Yeah. So it's nice to, it, it's kind of weird at first to watch because you don't want to be like the creeper. Right, be the creep. <laughs> but there are people that enjoy being watched. You know, if I they, enjoy if being watched. They did watched. not want to be watched, they wouldn't have had the door open. That's how it, I think well, that. yeah. And yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah. And I think that's. Basically, how it goes with these hotel parties is it's kind of like an open door thing. Like, if the door is open, come on and say yeah, hi. Yeah, I'm not sure. Unle- yeah, I don't know. Unless you just kind of ask, like, hey, do you mind if I watch? But I don't know. Do you interrupt people and ask them, hey, do you mind if I watch you guys fuck? <laughs> I, yeah, right. I don't know. I guess, you know, because we really weren't around a lot of people that yeah. were fucking. You know, we just happened to walk by yeah. a few people that were. Yeah, so uh, so after that, we kind of just made our way back to our bedroom and our, our hotel room, and it was only like fucking ten thirty. <laughs> yeah, it was before midnight for sure. Uh, and and uh, yeah, that was our night. We we made out for a little bit on the bed. And, yeah. yeah, you did try to fuck me, but yeah, your I was in was pain. Fucking, yeah, and I felt horrible. I'm like, man, I'm at a fucking swinger event, and I can't even. Fuck my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, you know, we went to this event. We we watched. We we learned. We we found out. You know, decorate your doors or you know, kind of just, have fun, just yeah. have fun. And it's very, very welcoming. Everybody was very welcoming. You didn't feel like you were being judged 
any way. Right. By anybody. Yeah, no, that, everyone you know, was you, you had, really you had, cool. You had skinny bitches, you had bigger bitches, you had big and there was dudes, all kinds, small dudes, yeah. hairy dudes. Everybody. Everybody yeah. you know, in between. Yep. And there was no judgment on anyone. No, it, it was, was very cool how very open everybody was. Yeah, I really like that. And how freeing it is, you know, because me, you know, guys are just walking around with their dicks out. Yeah. I've never been one to be like at the just Y or something, just have my dick just right. hanging out or whatever. Because uh, unfortunately, I am a grower and not a shower. So, well, I'm sure most dudes are, and you but, can't. But come... some guys are just sitting there, and their fucking dicks are hanging down to their. They're not hard, and they're hanging to their, down knees. To their knees. Yeah, I know. And, and I'm like, Ugh. but still, you can't compare. No, nope. I know what you mean. No, I get. But it. what I'm saying is that I would actually feel comfortable there. in a situation just having my dick hanging out, right? Because I know eventually. Yeah, I'm going to grow and, and show. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I don't want to be like kind of just standing there. And then, you know, it, my dick gets hard and it's just like, oh, dude, your, your dick is hard. Right. But, you just walk around with some hard cock. Like, be like, don't knock over the drinks on that yeah. table, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I, I have to say we fully enjoyed our experience. And it wasn't very expensive either. It was like a hundred dollars for the room, and it was like sixty dollars for that party. Yeah. Uh, this upcoming party, it was eighty dollars for the party, but they're going to have more. Yeah, more you stuff. Know, they're yeah. going to actually have the DJ dance floor. Right. Uh, all the bells and whistles to their normal parties yeah. uh, happening that night. So I really look forward to that. Um, and really it would be really cool if you know Wednesday and her husband. Yeah. Uh, Red. Yeah. Uh, get there and yeah, we can hang out fun. with them and uh, uh, just mingle with other people. And, you know, yep. I've had people hit us up on SLS saying, oh, yeah, it'd be nice to meet you guys there or whatnot. So, yeah, cool. Looking forward to it. Yeah. So, looking very much towards it. But, yeah. Uh, so, just take this from us uh, for all those people that were asking all week do you have to, do you feel like you have to do something at these parties? You do not. Yeah, you can no, just go and you're experience comfortable with. it. Watch yep. it. Uh, take these memories back with you. Be prepared for the next time. Yeah. You know, just meet people. Yeah. And um, that's what you should do. Go into it with you know no expectations because you don't really know what to expect. And I think if you put expectations on yourself, you're going to limit yourself to experiences because you're going to just kind of be so focused on, oh, I have to do this. No. Yeah. So, but yeah, just have fun. Go with the flow. and Yeah. So, have uh, a good fucking time. Yeah, have a real good fucking time. So, all right, guys. So, uh, I apologize that this podcast has gone over quite a bit here tonight, uh, but I, I didn't want to skip out too much on the, the hotel experience just because yeah. how many people were wanting yeah, to find out. I about get it. it. And um, to not short, you know, skip through the shit yeah. really fast. And yeah, I get it. Give them all the deets on it. And, uh, for sure, we will give you the details on our next one that we do. Yeah, uh, we'll probably do a, like a recap, you know, the week after. So stay tuned for that one as well in a couple of weeks here. Yeah, but uh, we want to thank everybody once again for down all the downloads you guys have been doing on this podcast, all the contact you guys have been doing with our uh, our Discord, uh, contacting us through Instagram, um, TikTok, you know. Our, we're almost at 4,000 followers on TikTok. Yeah, it's um, awesome. It's it's crazy how big this podcast blew up as fast as it did. Yep. And we have n- all of you kinky fuckers out there to thank. So and, thank you, and guys. And we really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for liking what we're doing here. Yeah. Uh, just being, you know, that's one of the big comments was is that you guys keep everything light and keep the flow going. So it's just us. Hey, it's just us, baby. So, all right. Well, you guys, uh, yeah, stay kinky until next time. Yeah. So, uh, as always, stay kinky, fuckers. Stay kinky, fuckers. <laughs> stay kinky, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Peace.